Are you listening? You know, it's not very often that we get to dive into something controversial. So let's jumpstart our Monday by pissing off half the internet and 90% of Reddit by talking about The Last of Us Part 2. And I think this goes without saying, but spoiler alert. In order to talk about today's story, we need to talk about some massive points in the game's story. The Last of Us Part 2 launched almost two weeks ago. And within the game's first three days, it sold nearly 4 million copies, becoming PlayStation's fastest selling game of all time. However, due to the game's massive story choices, including... So you're staying. Look, I'm warning you, we are about to enter massive spoiler territory, and there's no coming back from this. Due to the game's massive story choices, including killing off Joel, sending Ellie on a rampage-filled journey only for Ellie not to be able to kill when it actually counts, and, and forcing players to play as the woman who murdered Joel only to make you feel bad for the fact that she had to murder someone, but... All of that wrapped up in a bundle of joy is the reason that The Last of Us 2 is kind of pissing off fans. In fact, right now, The Last of Us Part 2 has a user score of 5.2 out of 10 on Metacritic, which I can get some of the complaints surrounding the game, but for it not to be high 7 or mid 8 is just wildly inaccurate. For example, Metacritic Philippe Hunter gave the game a 0 and said, Simply disappointing! Terrible narrative, strange movements, and full of bugs. Really, a zero, Philippe. Did the game not boot up for you? Like, how the hell do you justify getting a game a zero? I mean, the only way that I could see that being possible is if you put the disc in the console, the game didn't boot up, but then it caused your PlayStation 4 to overheat, burning down your entire house. But if that were the case, I would expect your review to say, Simply disappointing! Game wouldn't boot, house burnt down, and lost priceless family heirlooms in the process. And that is a review that I can get behind. But in the case of The Last of Us Part 2, it would appear that the game's Metacritic score is being review bombed, and the unfortunate part is that the valid complaints about the game are being lost in a sea of needless hate. However, the hate surrounding The Last of Us Part 2 doesn't just stop with Metacritic reviews. As voice actress Laura Bailey, who plays Abby in The Last of Us Part 2, shared the following messages that she's received through social media. And trigger warning, this might be a bit much for some of you. The messages depict threats of violence, with some saying that they will stab her, others saying that they will find her and kill her, along with wishing hard cancer on her parents. And I bring this up because, much like Philippe, these people are just wrong. Attacking a performer over a performance is, is so uncalled for, especially when you threaten physical harm upon that person. So you didn't like the game. Big deal. Go play another one. Making threats like this doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you a badass, and it sure as hell doesn't make you a macho male for putting a woman in her place. I mean, I say this a lot on the show, but it's just a game. If the decision a director decides to take the narrative on upsets you that much, maybe it's time to put down the controller. And even if you hated the game, by overreacting like this, your actions are preventing any valid complaints from being heard. I mean, in all honesty, I just don't understand this. I have never been so upset in my life to send threats of violence to other people or even write a bad review. Like, the people doing this are quickly becoming the new Karens of gaming. Oh, you're gonna kill Joel? Well, guess what? I want to talk to your manager. Thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, definitely subscribe and check out all of our other videos. If you don't, well, the internet's going to explode. That's right, you heard it here first. If you don't click that subscribe button, the internet will implode. What are you waiting for? Save the world.